Hey ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and those who are identified otherwise. Welcome your faces back to Simpson Plays. And we are here with the most anticipated game of the decade. It is Starfield, brought to you from Bethesda Studios. What an awesome, awesome game we're about to start playing. I don't care what anyone else says about the game. People have got these problems with with the fact that you can't explore the whole planet and stuff. And, and there's little bits of stuff that people just complain about for no reason, in my opinion. This is going to be a fun game because it's brought to you from Bethesda. The guys who gave you Skyrim. The guys who have given you Elder, Elder Scrolls Online. The guys who have given you Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. They know how to make an RPG game. This is going to be great. So sit back, grow a snack, grow a drink, kick your feet up, most probably have fun, like, comment, subscribe down below, hit that bell notification, keep it to everything here on Simpson Plays, and of course, check out the wonderful links in the description for TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, and that's Simpson Vlogs, SimpsonPlays.com, and of course, my Twitch, Simpson underscore Plays 13, where you can actually play in Starfield live. I'm going to be playing live of Starfield so much, it's going to be insane. A lot of this stuff is obviously going to be part stream, part recording, but even more of it, it's going to be more like how we did the Elden Ring series. Remember that, guys? Where I'd just hop on randomly, I'd start a stream up, we'd have some fun, we'd piss about, we'd level up, we'd explore the world of Elden Ring. But well, we're going to be doing that, but in this we will be doing it on a galactic scale. We're going to be exploring the Starfield. Right then. After that massive intro, there's a lot of hype, I'll just give it. Let's jump into new. Yes, we're starting a new game. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. I just can't hide it. Bethesda Game Studios presents. <laughs> oh, it's going to be so cool, man. Oh, I'm so gassed. I'm so happy for this. Oh, man. Oh, man. I've not been this hyped for a game since the brought out Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Genuinely. It's like the first one, obviously, not the second one. First one. Argos Extraction Mining Mount Post Moon of Vectrum, was that? Okay. So we're starting as our character. Oh, this gives me Skyrim vibes. Who are you? Good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's my one simple rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, now I work in the Stardock, except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismemberment. Very helpful. Thank you. Ah, you're gonna be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah, and the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just... No more unauthorized jumps in the house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good feeling about you. A group hug now or at the end of the shift? <sighs> One of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. <laughs> Do we get to decide our character now? Is it is it is it time? Is this Is this is this the moment? Oh, we're just gonna move first. Okay. Let's oh right. Go. Okay. How well, this is interesting. Uh, okay. Longer. Grab some samples. Always, uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Make sure she eases up on the breach. I don't feel like getting buried alive today. Roger that. Okay. Remember, Dusty. Keep your breathing steady, and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah, because God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. You know what I love about working in Freestar Collective Space? Fewer regs. A job like this in the United Colonies? <laughs> Dreams of red tape. 
We're gonna get attacked by pirates or some shit, aren't we? This one over Okay. Seems like they've got a pretty well tuned operation going on, but you know it's gonna get fucked up by something. I'm gonna call it as pirates. Space pirates gonna fuck this up, definitely. I'm not even saying that with like inside and like I've not viewed anyone else's like streams or grab a cutter and mine what you can. Metal deposits are in that cavern. Okay. All right, that makes sense. Okay, got it. Let's not fire it at anyone like an idiot. Anyone else to bother? I haven't decided yet if we're gonna do this from like as a really good guy or like a helpful person. I don't. I have no idea how we're gonna do this. No. How do I put the gun away? Triangle? Nope. Oh. I mean, why? Sorry. Why is to jump? What's X do? Nothing yet. Circle? And here we go. <sighs> X and B, sorry. Oh. Keep. I have a PlayStation guy at heart. That'll look safe. Consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay. Uh -oh. starting to freak me out. Uh oh. It's just another job. Come on. Yeah, it's never just another job, for God's sake. Never mind, it's not pirates are gonna mess this up. It's her greed. We're getting close, I think. There's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there. We'll come get you. Uh, oh. Why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? LB. Might as well mine this stuff, I don't know if we get to keep it or not. Might, might be something good. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth, ladies and gentlemen. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I, I guess that's a good thing. Just keep going. I don't like it, getting creeper. Also, this is taking a lot longer than mine for some reason. What the hell is that? Is that gonna break or not? Is that gonna break? That broke. Is this gonna break? Laser work? Okay, laser working. Oh wait, what? Oh, I didn't even notice that needs to recharge.
Any other? Deposits? Alright, let's get on with the story. What is that? Yo, what the? Take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this? What the look bloody hell happened? What's this? Biometric ID can be changed later by. Visiting a genetic lab. Okay, so, okay. Character creation time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm on the biometric ID part. So we're just going to be choosing a standard guy to start with. Now, he's doing a black brother on the screen so far, so he looks like a good place to start, but that might be changed my mind. Okay, so we've got number 15 and number 9. I like the look of anyone else. I like the look of her to be fair. She looks nice. Why does his head look so weird? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I rate her as well. I rate, I rate the hairstyle. I like how it's like messy, messier to one side. That's really nice. Okay. Getting towards the end. I feel like the girl characters look better than the boy characters in terms of like how put together they are. I feel like the boy characters look very gamey. Okay, well. Which ones are like 9 or 15 really? I was a little more I picked up on. Across. I just didn't really like the look of them. I feel like he's really short. Are the heights changing as we do it? Or is it just... What was, what was 15 again? Very... Non pronounced jaw. It's very strange. <laughs> it looks weird. I don't know. It looks strange. I don't know what it is. I can't put my finger on it. It looks weird. I don't know what it is. Also, if you can hear any noise around, right that's just parents coming home. All right, let's, let's get on with it. RB, right? So, what is this? What is this? Muscular and. So that means you're a big guy, but you're muscular. Okay, so. Right, let's go with, let's go with like, towards the thinner side of muscler, but like more muscler, like here. Here's like a good body size, isn't it? Or is it not? Here's like center. Here's like just meh. I'd rather be a bit of a muscle, muscle head. I think that's all right. And then we've got, oh, sorry, I need to select it off. Body type one or two. What's... What's body type 2? Is that girl? Is that what that means? I think that's what it is. Walk 1 or 2. So that's a girl walk. And that's a girl. <laughs> who, who decided that was that was how it that should work? Who decided that? Because that's hilarious. That is hilarious. That's the sassiest walk I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at the way his hips are thrown left and right. <laughs> Oh dear, no. Right, okay. That was funny. Oh dear. Oh, funny. Right. Uh, how how dark should I make my character? Should I make it my skin tone? I guess that's the... I'm, I'm kind of like in between here and here, I think. So I'm going to go with that one. Face. Okay, we can change the face now. 
fish head shape. <laughs> oh dear, I've got no idea what to go for. Go from the side. Why? What's with those mega head profiles, man? Right, let's change the hair at least. Can I zoom out? How do I zoom out? Can I zoom out? Oh, there you go. Right, I want to see the hair. What type of hair do we want to go for? What type of hair? That's normally my normal go-to hairstyle in games. But... Mm, that's not too bad, but it just looks a bit ridiculous on his head shape. To be fair, I might just choose a hairstyle and try and fit the head to the, to the hair. Good lord have mercy. Oh, what was that one? What was that one? Uh no. Oh no. That does not suit that does not suit him at all. Right, okay, we're gonna go to my go-to hairstyle because it's my go-to. Yep, make it black, facial hair. I could do mm, that's kinda like me, but not quite. That's more like me, without the handlebar connection though. Mm, in fact, that's probably more like me, a bit more scruffy. But let's make him a bit more well shaven, well, well looked after. Give him the same hair colour, right, eyes. Yeah, I like uh, eye colour. Let's go with like really unrealistic eyes. But it's like green or blue. Whoa, that's blind. Oh. <laughs> I'm very sure that's supposed to be blind. Like, right, let's go for blue eyes. Ooh, ooh, I like that. They're scary looking eyes. And intense. You met someone with those type of eyes, you, know, you kind of freak out for a second or two. Right, head shit then. Let's zoom out a bit and let's see what we can do for his head shape. That one? That's a better head shape? Now with that thing on, his head looks a bit better for that muscular neck or... Oh, which one? That... that one? Maybe? Yeah? No. No god no. Yeah? Yeah, I think I'm good with that. So you got traits, you got background. Now these are the most important things when considering choosing your character right now. So our background. What do we want our background to be? What have we got to choose? File not found. What? That's weird. Right, so Xenobiologist, Settled System, uh, so do you want to be a Xenobiologist? Probably not. Space Scoundrel, Pistol Certification, Piloting and Persuasion. Ooh. Bel soldier, Fitness, Boost Pack Training, Ballistics, Sculptor, Medicine, Geology, Persuasion. Ronin, a Masters Unbound, you wonder the uh, Blade for Hire. So dueling, stealth, and scavenging. Interesting. Professor, pilgrim, long hauler, ballistic weapons training. No, ballistic weapons systems. Well, I don't know where I read it training from. Okay, so that's good for like saying if you want, you're all about you know fighting in the thing. Industrialist, shotgun specialist. So you're a gangster. Lasers, astro, what? Advanced technology is one thing, but it takes a little patience and a little bit of love and coax to get a bit of a ship's grave drive. Human, humanity now has access to untold alien worlds and ability to decipher all the data. Yeah, essential skill. Cybernetics. Cyber runner. 
combat medic, chef. Ooh, bounty hunter could be interesting. Beast hunter, fitness, ballistics, and gastronomy. What's that? All oh, right, okay. So that's like being able to cook all the aliens you eat, defeat in this game. Fair enough. Right. Oh, I don't know. See, I don't know, because these are starting skills. You can always get more skills. What is a good set of starting skills? Breaking into stuff and fitness sounds good. Piloting, boost pack, training. You're not going to get a boost pack that early on, though, are you? Targeting control systems. Ah, bugger. I don't know. I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, I don't know what the best starting is. Persuasion is always nice to have as a starting skill, but... Right, so, so far I'm leaning towards Bounty Hunter. Uh, industrialist. No. Bounty Hunter, Long Hauler. Ronin. And Soldier. Or Space Scoundrel. That fitness and ballistics thing, I'm not, I'm not sure. What type of... It's a space game, I feel weird running around with a sword in a space game. That doesn't make any sense to me. I guess... Either a soldier or bounty hunter. Probably a soldier, it probably makes more sense because... Yeah, I think soldier makes more sense as an actual starting background. Because it's like, if you were a bounty hunter, why would you be here? You know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense. So I'm going to go with the soldier. Right, so we've got traits. Alien DNA, you volunteered. You start with increased health and oxygen, but healing of food items aren't as effective. Eee, that's not that great. You own a luxury, a luxurious... Customizable house on a perfect planet. It comes with a what? Oh my god. Eh? <laughs> this game is not serious, right? It can't be serious. That's insane. And that would make sense as to why if you were one of those other jobs where you ended up working mining shifts. Jesus. What action is your companion's life will result in a temporary increase in combat effect? Uh, no, shit. Uh, more alone. Can't be combined with... In, wait, what? Exert, exerting yourself uses less oxygen when adventuring with human companions, but more when adventuring alone. That's... That's weird. What, that's a very weird stat to have. Free star collective set you gain access to special dialogue options but and better rewards for some missions given by the faction but crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. Oh yeah. What? But crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. What does that mean? Isn't that counterproductive? You get oh, an adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber you on the plus side, he'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. That could be funny. That could be very funny for the gameplay. Your parents are alive and well, you can, and you can visit them at their home, but you will ultimately spend 2% of your credits home to them. You will no, send 2% every week. Jesus. You grew up on the mean streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue and better rewards from missions on the on crime bounty on the... uh... No, we're not going to be part of the Enlightened. The bloody hell is that? Race Universal... Oh god. Okay, so there's a lot of factions in this game. Your body has become acclimatized to space. Health not should increased when in space, but decreased on the surface. Ooh. If your crew... Trained in a certain ship system, that system will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it's damaged below. However, all crew co cost twice as much to hire. Oh. Oh. 
someone put a price on your head. Armed mercenaries will show up and try to kill you. Uh, I'm not going to do that one. So these traits are optional. And hilarious. In terms of what some of them seem to do. Um, obviously, uh, I don't know. Right, okay, okay. Hmm. Hmm. Do we want to do the whole, like, super soldier kind of thing with the alien DNA? That might sound fun, and come, but comes at the risk of having crap, healing, and food. The dream home one just sounds crippling. That does not... That doesn't sound good. That sounds very bad. It comes with a 125,000 credit mortgage. Does the mortgage ever get paid off? Like... How does that work? Right, I'm gonna do the hero worshipped because that sounds funner. I'm gonna do... No, not wanted. Wanted sounds terrible. Christ. Alien DNA. Because... Yeah, why not? Makes sense. Super soldier kind of thing. And then... What do we want to do, guys? What do we want to do? We want to do... What's Serpent's Embrace? That's weird. Oh, that's a religion trait. Is there any other religion ones? You gain access to a special chest full of items, but lose access to the house of enlightened chest. Huh. Huh. I mean, we don't have to choose all three traits. It clearly says that you don't have to do that. It'd be nice to do. I wish there was more traits to choose from. Hmm. Um, that could be interesting. We get better, but it costs twice as much. You know what? No. Okay. We're going to go with just alien DNA and hero worshipped. We've got our background as a soldier. You see the little tick at the bottom there. Yeah, there it is. We have our face. We have our body type. Okay, I think that's it. Let's finish that. So name. Pronoun. They, them. He, him. I can't believe this is actually a thing that people were upset about, by the way. Just, just off topic. People are generally apparently refunding the game because of this. Like, this is something new. So strange. Right, what are we going to call him? Normally I go with the typical name of Oblivion. So we're going to go with that name. Just to keep things flowing. That's his name. His name is Oblivion. <laughs> right. He's a he, him. And it's Oblivion. He's got background as a soldier. He's got alien DNA. He has a hero worship. He's a he's hero worshipped by some random dude or dudette. And we've got alien DNA running for us. Sounds like a plan. Let's get on with it. You were a good find when we hired you. Former military always knows how to get the job done. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. We're all gonna get dead. Anything that happened? Uh. We're it's gonna be cautious patient, for a soldier. Sooner we get it off our hands, the sooner it isn't our problem anymore. Easy there, high flyer. Probably just the endorphins kicking in when you passed out. Don't go having an experience on me. The bloody hell's that mean? Off. More importantly, we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. 
It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... Speak of the devil. What? Oh, I can switch between third person. Wait, how did I do that? What button is that? Okay. I don't know which one... Ooh. What was with that camera? We, it's weird dragging the camera around there. It seems to be like glitchy. Okay, I feel like... The Explorers Group? <laughs> I thought they were kind of a joke. Not a joke. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a reputation. Hell, I bet half the crew here doesn't even believe they really exist. Half the crew doesn't believe Earth exists, but it's still there. Same with Constellation. Yeah, come on. Exploring space? <laughs> Who does that anymore? Ain't the space we've already got complicated enough? Not to them, apparently. All right, Dusty. Airlock. Put your helmet on. How do I do that? Okay, what? We've got a star map. Skills. Inventory. I'm going to go to inventory. That's our weapon. Spacesuit. What's this? Helmet. Now equipped. All right. Okay, we're finally outdoors on a planet that is not. Well. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Wow. Okay. I'm rating the size of that ship. Is that what we're supposed to be doing or no? Okay, he's coming out actually. Okay, never mind. Okay, that's how you run. Jump. Jump. X brings out weapon. Circles crouch. Hold circle. Hold thingy. That puts a gun away. Right, yeah. Been a long right. time. <laughs> yes, it has. That mine on Bindi, right? Kazal. Hellhole. Like this place. Rail <laughs> contract. Your tastes are a bit more sophisticated now, huh? So, you found something? Right here. The new guy found it. That right. And everything went cool? Just like grabbing those minerals on Bendy? Kazal. And no Barrett. Not cool. He passed out after the extraction. Woke up saying all kinds of nonsense. Is that right, cowboy? Went on a trip, huh? How do you know about well, that? You could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. All right, a little disappointing, not gonna lie, but reveling in the weird of space isn't everyone's idea of a good time. I get it. Look, just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing, or you, ever again. That's What's gonna happen? Something's gonna happen. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in hot from orbit. I really thought I'd lost them. Barrett? Get what? Get ready for war! Let me choose weapon. Let me change weapons. Okay. 
Why have I got no bullets? Why have I got no bullets? I don't understand. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Explain to me why I have got no bullets. I've got a gun with no bullets. It, this doesn't make any sense. No, it wasn't. This was not. Right, right. Better. Right. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, Yo, he's slicing the dicing, brothers. Huh? Where'd he go? You a bad guy? Yeah, you're a good guy. What's good? Whoa. Come on, pop your head out. Oh, I got hit. I ain't changed. I want to pick up this gun. All right. Does it, does it use the same bullets? All right, time to switch weapons again. <laughs> Good? Choose the wrong button to... I'm looting everybody first before I even talk to anybody. Loot them. Loot them bodies. Can't believe the Crimson Fleet hit us. Alright. Loot them bodies. Right, what did we pick up there? Because that was chaos. I can't lie, that was actually chaos. What does that do? So, okay. Accuracy is god awful. You gotta be really steady when shooting to get the thing right. I like that, to be fair. What's that? I'll take it. This attack better not be coming out of our pay. Of course Barrett was being followed every time. Well, what the hell was that? Some fine work on the pressure. I'm a soldier. The artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. <laughs> what? You ever stare up at the stars at night wondering what's out there? Well, that's us. That's where we go. What? Marvelous. Oh, no, Barrett. No. Think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. 
Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. I mean, I escalated real quick. I went from zero to a hundred. Just go. Before I say something I regret. Well, now that that's settled. Vasco, get him to the lodge. No deviations unless absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo? Again? Very well. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. Oh, that's the watch that you get in the collector's edition. <laughs> hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Come yeah, why on. send me? You're really not at all curious about that light music show you experienced? Why it only affected you? I, I mean, I am, but... Notice we've all been handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need you. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. Technically, it's not even mine. Consider it alone. Oh, wonderful, thanks. Keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception, since you can tell Constellation about that vision you had. Okay, what exactly did I dig that, up? my friend, is the million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. With your help. Why would they have to? following the loop, like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a loot collector. I bet you do. And All right. Go. Don't let him break my ship. <laughs> wow, that big robot's kind of like bouncing. It appears you are the new captain of the Frontier. That's what this baby's called, the Frontier. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think this is a good point as any to end the first episode, ladies and gentlemen. We had a good fight, we created a character, we, we progressed rapidly with the story there in terms of jumping into the main part of it, and of course, we're about to go on our first flight in the next episode, so if you want to keep up to date with all that awesome stuff, I bet you, you do, like, comment, subscribe down below, most importantly, hit that bell, not forget to keep to everything here on some Players, check the links in the description for TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter, and also some vlogs, some .com, and of course, my Twitch, where you can drop a follow to watch me play this game live. Of course, you can subscribe to support me financially as a streamer if you so wish to. But yeah, this was the first episode of our Starfield adventure. Our adventure across the stars, ladies and gentlemen. Brought to you by Bethesda. And these guys know how to make RPGs. So I'm still excited. <laughs> I'm still excited. The gameplay, I'm not used to jump being Y. I might have to change the controls on that or just really drill it into my head and get used to it so that was the only thing the only problem i had that with that so far with the gameplay but yeah i mean it's the it's a day before day one when i'm recording this i bought the um the premium the premium edition to get early access so for those of you on stream we've got more to come for those on youtube don't forget to check out some vlogs um hopefully fingers crossed fingers crossed i have a lot of unboxings over there a massive unboxing video for you guys to watch I won't say too much to spoil it in case I don't do everything I think I'm going to do or be able to get my hands on everything I think I'm going to do in time. But let's just say it's Apple related. Go check that out. But until next time guys, I'm going to love you. I'll leave you. Peace.